Put down your sword for a second. We're making fried udon from Rune Factory 4 Special. The in-game recipe calls for flour, cabbage, carrot, and onion. This one does too. Now, udon noodles are great and available in most supermarkets and also Asian supermarkets. I buy mine frozen. Place two 7-ounce packets in a large bowl and cover them with tap water. We're not really cooking them, we're just kind of loosening them up. Drain them before you do add them to the recipe though. Now let's get to our veggies. First, our onion. Split it in two. Cut off the front and the back end. Then, slice off some arcs. Once you get near the end, lay it flat so you don't cut yourself. You guys seem to really hate the way I slice in some of my videos because you think it's like dangerous, but I've never cut myself, at least not recently. Uh, I'm just that good. Place your onions in a bowl. This is where we're going to put all of our veggies. Stir fries are much more about preparing than they are cooking, but you do want to have everything nice and separate before you get started. Next, the cabbage. Quarter it. Then, slice down to get some big shreds. I'm slicing all of the veggies to be sort of noodle shaped. Makes for an easier to eat stir fry. Place them in the veggie bowl. Alright, now the carrot. I'm going to shred with my fancy little noodle grater. You can just use a regular vegetable peeler too though, uh, to make kind of sort of carrot noodles. Just be sure to turn it with every drag. Pretty! Put them in the bowl. Mushrooms are easy. Just dig out the stem if the stem is big, otherwise you can leave it. Then, just slice them. Don't go too thin. Put them in your bowl. I should have used a bigger bowl, but we're too far in and it's too late to look back. Alright, in a separate small bowl goes garlic. Grate it nice and fine. But then, grate on some ginger. I love to grate. I think it's great. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Set that aside. Now slice up some leftover meat. I'm using this leftover T-bone steak. I'm going to slice it into noodles too. Kind of these long shreds. Pork and bacon would also work really well here. Or you can actually leave the meat out altogether. If you're using uh, tofu or leftover chicken though, uh, make sure to add it at the end, otherwise it'll get too mushy. Lastly, our stir fry sauce, which is just mirin, soy sauce, and chili garlic sauce. First goes the soy. I use low sodium kind, by the way. Then goes the mirin. Lastly, the chili paste. Go as much as a tablespoon. You can use less uh, chili paste, Though, if you don't want your noodles spicy, or you're a baby. You're also going to need some oil. I keep mine in a squirt bottle. Alright, I'm going to fry my noodles outside in my real life wok. You can use your widest non-stick skillet though if you want to make it inside. The procedure will look just about the same. First, light up your pan. Get it nice and hot. Add a little bit of oil. And swirl it around. All right, now add your meat. I'm frying it up so it'll render out some of that yummy fat. That's gonna flavor the noodles. Once you get crispy around the edges, add your veggies all at once. Fry those for about five minutes, uh, stirring often.
Once they're done, they should look sort of like this. Lightly golden around the edges. Mmm. Now, stir in your garlic ginger mixture. Stir it to combine. No more than 30 seconds. Then, add your sauce mixture and your drained noodles. Be sure to drain those, otherwise you're going to make soup. And that probably won't taste very good. Stir for another minute or two or until the noodles soak up all the sauce. I turned off my heat since my pan is already pretty white hot. Then I turned it back on again because I like the flames. When your noodles are done, pile them high on a plate. I garnish it with fresh herbs too. Chives or cilantro would work equally great here. Eat them while they're hot. Fried udon is yummy. If you like that, check out my Harvest Moon Scone Recipe, one of my favorite desserts, period. Feel free to leave some love in the comments below, or even request a recipe for a future video. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!